I remember, I remember some years ago there was this female music artist that um, died in a road traffic accident. And after her demise, the WhatsApp messages that popped up that there was a death prophecy that showed that she was going to die and she was given instructions to do. She was supposed to go and give to the orphanage, do a whole lot of things, which according to the managers and the WhatsApp messages, they did all of that. But this lady still died. And my question is, does she act? hi guys welcome back to my series on what to do when you receive a negative word of prophecy and in today's video we are going into point number one the first thing to do when you receive a negative word of prophecy is not to panic but act in faith I do understand a negative word of prophecy would come with some level of fear, will come with fearful thoughts, will come with you wanting to be afraid and panic and saying all the wrong things. But I, I want to entreat you that the first thing to do when you receive a negative word of prophecy is always to, to remember to walk in faith. The thing about what doing anything in fear is that it doesn't please God because the Bible makes us understand that any without faith it is impossible to please god and so when you receive that negative word of prophecy and your first reaction is in fear that is against what god wants you to do and that is where the devil will get hold of you so now here is the thing the devil does not really know what we think the only thing the devil can act on and even the angels can act on is our words and so it is so important for you to control what you say after receiving a negative word of prophecy and i really thank god that it, on that day in my consulting room when i received that second death prophecy when i took my phone everything i said was faith filled and i think that played a key part in determining how that played out at the end so i believe that the first point of call is to maintain your composure take a deep breath it is better not to say anything than to say anything or act in fear okay it is better not to say anything or act at all than to act in fear because when you act in fear it is not pleasing to call remember i remember some years ago there was this female music artist that um died in a road traffic accident and after her demise the whatsapp messages that popped up that there was a death prophecy that showed that she was going to die and she was given instructions to do she was supposed to go and give to the orphanage so a whole lot of things which according to the managers and the whatsapp messages they did all of that but this lady still died and my question is does she act in fear or she acted in faith because then that is the difference because i mean if you can do the right things you can say the right things but once you're not saying it and it is not backed by faith it is not going to yield much result that is why it is so important for you not to panic i mean naturally you would want to panic but even when the when the fearful thoughts speak words for example when the, the death prophecy came i said no I, I wasn't going to die because the word of and the voices i said that the same spirit that raised jesus christ from the dead lives in my mortal body so i stood on that word and i said no i wasn't going to accept this and the bible says that whatever we lose on earth is lost in heaven and whatever we bound on earth is bound in heaven so you know i those things those scriptures just sprang out and then it built out my faith and that is why it is so important to know the word of god for yourself like i said in this video because it is the word of god that produces the faith okay and so as you meditate on the word of god and it's in your heart when the situation comes your words will be filled with faith and then you have the result that you wish according to god's perfect will for you forgetting that the only time the enemy can get you is when the enemy gets your face without an enemy getting your face he can't get anything that is why challenging situations spring up it's not really about you having money or not having money it's not really about death prophecy or no death prophecy it's not about a prophecy of you going to have a, a terminal illness or not it's, it's about giving information that will attack your face and so i mean the bible says that we are not unaware of the enemy's scheme we know how he operates and so when the information comes to you you have to know that no no matter what happens my faith will not be bruised my faith would always be intact and when that happens you will surely have victory you will sure, surely come out on the other side with victory and as a winner